So I've been on a search for a new cooler for my lunches. And originally I bought the Pelican 14 quart cooler. And it's, it's a nice cooler, but it's a little big. So then I thought I would try the eight quart cooler to see. And I was trying to do some research looking on YouTube for reviews and just other thoughts on that cooler. And there was almost no videos on the eight quart cooler. So I thought I'd kind of make one. So here it is, opens, it's got a single latch in the front, opens real nice, has a tray in it. There's the inside. It has a removable freeze pack here. It's only about a half inch thick. I don't honestly think it is gonna do much good to keep things cold, but it's there if you need it. Um, some of the reviews I read that clip here tends to break fairly easily, so I don't really plan on using that freezy pack myself. Um, if we want to look at the size of the inside, which is probably the most important, we're looking at about six and a half deep. Uh, about 11 that way. And that way I would say is about seven and a half or so. So looking at capacity or how much it can hold, it holds about a do dozen 12-ounce cans. So then it'll hold four more on top. I probably only have three here, but... So basically it'll hold a dozen with ice. The lid will close that way. Um, Height-wise, the tray is pretty much made to work with the cans, so there's just a little bit of room from the top of the cans to the tray. Um, if you use six 12-ounce cans, you can get one of the blue freezies in there. It's fairly snug, though. I mean, I'm probably about an inch from hitting the bottom, and it's already putting some pressure, but it does work. You could do that if you wanted to and have a little bit of room here for something or ice. Personally, I usually have about four sodas that I bring to work. And then normally I would like to bring a couple waters and with this cooler, a normal 16.9 ounce bottle of water is too tall. It won't close. Um, what you can do, what does work, is if you, if you do that, you'll get them in there and actually have more room, too, for ice. The tray would fit that way. So that would work fine. I will probably just end up buying a case of the shorter, you know, 12 ounce waters or whatever. Um, and then the top tray, on a normal day, I probably will pack a sandwich bag full of grapes, a sandwich, here's some apples. That's pretty much a typical lunch for me, and it does close. Um, sandwich might get smashed a little bit, but Overall, it's not too bad. I think you could put the grapes down inside with the ice and the soda. And then of course, then you got lots of lots of room for your sandwich and some apples and whatever else. But so it's, it's a pretty decent size. I, I do like it. It's been working well for me so far. So there is a cubby for dry storage on top if you want to throw a cell phone or a wallet or something in there. I don't think it's waterproof by any means. There's no gasket or anything. Some of the negative reviews have been this latch is hard to open one-handed. It's really, you really can't. You almost need a hand behind to hold the cooler while you press with the other hand. So that is kind of a negative. Um, one thing that could be a negative is the handle is actually attached to the lid of the cooler. So if that if this was unlatched and you picked it up, you could dump it out where the 14 quart one, the handle's actually attached to the cooler itself. 
So you shouldn't, you won't have that problem, but. Here's a size comparison to my cooler I was using, just an old DeWalt, it's a Rubbermaid cooler. I'm not even sure what size it is. I guess it says 22 liters there, but very similar in size. So anyway, hope that helps someone.